Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Club with Sim. Um, last week we talked about typing and different Pokemon types and what they're good against and what they're weak against. And this time we're going to talk about what goes into a deck. First, we're going to start off with um, how many cards are in a deck? Well, there are 60 cards in a deck and I'm going to show you how to break them down and build one on your own. All right, so I have two different decks here and I'm going to use one with only one color first. So I have a water type deck here today. Um, I call it my Blastoise deck. I see I have my Blastoise. Okay. All right, so to build a deck, you need 60 cards. Remember, 60 cards. You can't have a deck with 59 or 61. It just doesn't work. All right. Now, this is going to be super easy to remember. You need 20 of each thing, so I have them in different piles. I have my 20 energies, and because it's a water deck in just one color, they're all blue energies. All water type. Okay, then I have my trainer cards. This includes items, support, and stadiums. Anything that can help your deck move along through the game. Alright, and then we have our Pokemon. So, 20 different Pokemon. Um, in one colored deck, I use, I kind of cheat. I use two colors by adding a normal type because a normal type can use any energy. The star at the top means that it's colorless. So you can use any energy to make it work. All right, so in this deck I have, like I said, 20 blue energies. And I'm gonna lay them out here for you so you can see. Now, if you have less than 20 energies, in a deck, you could get what I call landlocked. And landlocked means that you won't be able to play a Pokemon that you need if you don't have enough energies coming out of your deck. All right, so make sure you have to have 20 energies. Mine are all blue because it's a one color deck. Now, for my trainer cards, I have a lot of support in this one because it, honestly it needs it. It needs a lot of support. So most of my cards in this one are support cards, and support cards are cards that um, help you through the deck. So you can play one a turn, like Professor Kikui, for instance, he says draw two cards during your turn. So you can draw any two cards off the top of your deck and use them right away um, to help you through your deck. So I have 20 of these. Okay, and then you have your 20 Pokemon. Um, like I said, mine are mostly blue. Um, and I have a few normal types just because it's hard to have a bunch of blue cards that work together. So we have our Blastoise, our Squirtles, our War Turtles, all together here. Now, something that's important about deck making is that four of one card is called a set. You can't have more than one set in a deck. Um, it's not allowed. So I could have four of these Pidgeys in this deck, but no more. If I have five, then it's illegal. All right, that's my water deck. So I have 20 blue cards, 20 trainer cards, and 20 energies. Now I have another deck that I brought to show you a mixed colored deck, to show you how to even up your energies. Mixed colored decks are a little bit more difficult because you have two different colors you're working with, and you have to decide if you even out the colors or if you need more of one type of energy or more of a different type. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So this is my Psychic Steel deck. So I have way more Psychic type energies in this deck than I do Steel type because I have way more Psychic type po Pokemon in this deck. Um, psychic type and Steel type complement each other really well. If you remember our chart, it shows what our weaknesses and our strengths were. Um, so remember, you have to have those 20. I probably have about 11 Psychics and nine Steel. And you kind of have to play with it, make sure it works for you. Honestly, this deck I cheated a little bit. I don't have 20 trainer cards. I have more Pokemon to make it move faster so that I could get a Pokemon out faster that I need. But I have all of my trainer cards for this one are all Pokemon cards that allow you to switch your Pokemon out of your bench into your game. All right, now for the cards. I call this my Necrozma deck because I have um, two Necrozmas, one Psychic-type Necrozma and one 
dust type necrozza. So basically Lunala and Solgaleo. Alright, that's where the Steel type and Psychic type come from. So we have a lot of different cards in this one, and I'm going to kind of separate them by color, that way you can see how I broke it down. So I got my Steel types, my Psychic types in this pile. See how many more psychic types I have? And then I have my normal types, because you can have normal types in any deck. Remember, they're colorless, they can use any energy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, my favorite is Stuffle and Beware. Their evolution is amazing, because if you have a Stuffle, they're kind of... They don't seem very strong, but as soon as you evolve it to a Beware, they become almost invincible because they can take out a basic type Pokemon. And anyone who's using a GX Pokemon or a tag team, those are basic. So they do like 120 damage in one shot. So I almost always put Beware in my deck if I am allowed to. All right, I have, um, it looks like I have almost 12 Psychic types and I only have five Steel types, which is why I put way more um, Psychic type energies in my deck. Um, most of my psychic types evolve from each other, so they need a lot of support. And there you go. That's how I set my decks up. And I want to know what your favorite Pokemon is, and what kind of decks you're making. And if you have any questions about Pokemon at all, I can answer them. Um, so comment below, please, and tell me what you thought of this video, um, what you would like to learn next in Pokemon, and tell me what color of deck you're making, and we should battle. Thank you for coming.